Last episode, we took no regrets to the base of the Twin Falls in the King George River and hiked to the top of these impressive cliffs. Good morning. Um, we're heading back down King George River. Um, we're heading to Barbecue Beach um, to explore the steep gorge, um, which is going to be pretty cool. And after that, we're heading up to the East Arm to explore I think there's a rope ladder going up a cliff. I'm not 100% sure. Check these cliffs out. It's just incredible. Only Chris has just got to push the boundaries. Oh, I'm a bit worried about the depth here. Don't go in. Don't go in. We don't need to go in. The alarms are going off. It's too shallow. What's the depth now? Really? 0.2. Is the tide going in or out? In. So we're not going to get stuck. You can see the bottom crystal clear. So I just want to check, make sure there's no rocks. Oh, look at the bottom. We are, I think, just hit, about hitting the bottom. So I hope you couldn't go too much further. Uh, we've at least got a little bit more tide to come in, which is a little bit of our safety net. Or oh, we could be living in the mangroves, which is Chris's favourite. All these mozzies. Point two. We've got zero point two underneath us now. Uh, but at least I can see it's fairly well. No rocks in the bottom, which is good. So we can't hit anything. Officially in our own little rock pool with the boat. Completely. Doing a 360. Oh, not over there! Don't go there. There's a big, there's a big rock there. See it. Uh, a spinner. <laughs> oh, I gather they got close to the bottom. That's how close it is. That's mud. Stirred up the mud. Ugh. Now we're going to wind our way out and hopefully not get stuck. Oh, that was pretty cool. I see it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You've actually been overwhelmed by everything else. Have you got the GoPro? Hey, she thought you had it. Did you get it? Haven't you got it? <laughs> Dumbass! <laughs> what are the honeycombing of the rocks just there? Yeah, I'll come into that. There's a little hole for you to climb in, Chris. Oh, I tell you, it's tech. It's cold. It's crumbly. Yeah. Don't want to break it. It's denied. Can you believe they wouldn't get near a crocodile now they're walking across crocodile water? Like you said. One moment she won't get off the boat, now look. <laughs> I'm going in. So here we have Joe trying to bring out or trying to bring their tender across the other side of the cavern so that if the tide comes up we can get out still. But at the moment she seems to have just been going around in circles for an awful long time. Was it, what happened? I've never been attacked by a spider. I was attacked by a frog. A frog? A killer frog? Yeah, well, it could have been. Those toads are killer things. Hey. Where is he? Down below. 
lower deck. Did you have that problem last time? Did you have it with us? I think, I think you've heard this earlier today. But he said it was my fault that he left it on the table. Didn't you put it in your bag? No, I There it is. There it is. It's here. There we go. How about you put it in the bag? Calling us no, the crocodile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, she is calling us dumbass. I, I was like the whole lot of us. Yeah, the croc's yeah, just watching us all here. Because oh, he's waiting for us to pull down and go, oh, dinner. <laughs> well, then you got that bit. Next bit's the hard Uh, we've just climbed up the East Arm Falls and that is one hell of a climb that was not easy and very slippery and there's a crop down the bottom that we've seen but we're up I'll drive before I go back no, I don't want to go I don't want to I am And there's no ledge. <laughs> His finger holes. Here. With Pete and Karen not getting to the top of the falls, as they were incredibly steep and dangerous, we had noticed another climbing point just back from the main waterfall and tried an alternate route yep. to get to the topmost pool. Today's climb. Oh, I don't know, Chris. That's There's some of that I don't think I'm going to get up. Let's have a look. It's not that big. Oh, well, we'll have a look. What do you reckon, Karen? I don't know. I think the only way we can is just Let's go, go and have a look. Have a look. What do you think, guys? It's okay. <laughs> it's a long way to the road. I agree. What do you reckon? Easy. Easier than yesterday, so let's death trap. Okay, okay. These are what drop back down, there's only bruises, not Oh there's not, rocks. Yeah, there's I'm, rocks to land on, not the water with crocodiles. I'd land on a rock than a croc. A rock than a croc? Rock than a croc. That's all right, well we'll have a go. <laughs> Alright, oh Pete's nearly up. I think he's checking the what you think in there, Pete. You think? Oh, he's almost at the top. And he hasn't even used the rope. 
<laughs> I'll hang on to the rear. The rear end? <laughs> Well, this is easier than yesterday so far. Is it just tied to that rock? Yes. What stops that rock sliding? What? Oh, geez, safe. Shit, Ian, I'll have to sit on it when you get on it. <laughs> it's just rocked around a rock. It's tied to a rock. But it's not part of the rock structure, it's just a rock. Oh. So, in other words, try not to use it with all your weight. Now my coach used to say that, no pain, no gain. Yeah. I used to fly with no pain, no brains. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for any of the rocks to wobble now. How come I'm not losing weight with all these climbs? I know, well... How's that working? Ooh. Yeah, eating and drinking. Thank God we are. I know, can you imagine the size would be otherwise if we weren't oh. exercising? It might be Mr Mitchell on there. <laughs> I say Mr. Wish on the rip the muscle. Yeah. <laughs> well, we will need to see it to come, know which way to come down. Oh, this doesn't look nice at all. Oh, that looks prickly. Karen said it's horrible. Oh, it is sticky. It's sticky. It's sticky. What the hell? Are these cans here or are we making them? Over there! Where? Yep. Holy crap, look at that rock! Yes. All it's balanced on is that whatever underneath it and it's balanced. Don't wobble it. That is... Don't wobble... Oh no, Chris, 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 Chris. No, wobbling. It's wobbling. It, it actually... Not. It did wobble. It That is wobbling. No! <laughs> Don't! Ian, 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 Ian! No! Ian, no! Don't! <laughs> Ian! <laughs> Behave yourself, child! It's got excitement written all over it. No! Chris! Chris, get down! Don't. Oh, you get none. Is this optimistic? <laughs> oh, I, hey, do you know something? They need to be flat. No, that's good. Back in. You're asking for it. <laughs> well, it just has the one on top. <laughs> it's alright. It's on video. It's on. Oh, geez, no. Or do I need to hold it above my head? Hold it above your head. 
I gotta swim with and try to keep my shoes dry. Oh, your shoes! I got the drying. Yeah, I want Just keep it above your head. On it's your heavy. Head. Put it on your head. It'll push me out of it. On your head. It's too heavy to wear. No, I haven't got all day. Oh, oh wait, I'm bloody stuck. Keep it up. Keep it up. Just get those legs moving. <laughs> Keep it up! I know! No, that was that was last night. I kept my shoes dry. They just look they look horrible creatures. They don't even look attractive at all. Oh my god. Day 89, we are just leaving the Murphy River um, and heading out now through a moment over the bars and it is sort of a neat tide today, there's not much tide moving for most of the day so we're heading out now, there's not a lot, but we're 1.7 metre tide and we're very close to the bottom in a few spots. So we can see our previous log from the last passage, where the uh, chart pole thought that was too shallow. But we've still got two metres under kill, but uh, Layla behind us draws another half a metre on top of us, so we've just got to be mindful that we get plenty of depth to get through. So we certainly don't want to touch bottom today. If we touch bottom at the moment, there's not much tide movement for nearly the whole day, and then it will go out, um, and we'll be stuck here for nearly 24 hours till the next real tide. So we're just starting to cross the shallow bars, heading out the mouth of the river. We've got a bit of a dog leg coming out there. Uh, we have to follow. So we're down to 1.8 under keel at the moment. Well, I expect we'll get down to about a metre at the end, a bit further out. So we're getting shallower. Worst bit is we got 20 knots of wind there at the moment, you see, but it's gusting up to sometimes 28. And it's blowing us along with bare poles and we're going a bit fast. So we've got both engines on just for safety. Um, it should be touch bottom, we can try and get off quickly. Get it out. Play that right behind us. Jeez, watch out, don't look. I don't know if I like that. No. <laughs> We're full of sand. And I couldn't look. If it are, the shells go! Wow! There's a beautiful little lagoon here. It's just a pity there's a damn croc in it. He's hiding in that dark water. And obviously a waterfall that comes down in the wet season. Oh, there he is over the back. He's there, just his little head up there. 